Hi there, I'm glad to see you're back. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to draw the sloth. I don't know what it is about a sloth, but it seems like a lot of my students really find him cute. All right, grab your pencil. I've got my Sharpie. Let's get started. We're going to start here first with his nose. Now he's over here in this corner. So I'm going to draw an angle line up, angle up this direction, it's a different direction, and turn back like we started. I'm going to put a little dot here and a little dot here for his nostril. And then I'm going to put a line in the middle like this. And then I'm going to make a curve, kind of a connect like this. And then I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to come down like this. Now this is in the shadow, so I'm going to angle lines on top like this. And I want to draw a line this way and a line this way because he's looking up. Actually, he's looking right above the nose. So I'm going to make that just a little thicker on the top and draw a line like this. Normally, I start with the eye, but it would have been a little harder to get this one drawn if I'd started with the eye. But this is the top part of his nose looking up, and this points to where his eye is right here. A little almond or leaf shape. We're just going to make it like a circle, a little white light in the middle, then move over to the other side. This points again, curve up, curve down, two curved lines to show the colored part of his eye, and then shade it in, leaving a little white spot if you can. I have more of a one on this side. This one, you can hardly see it, but it's there. Okay, now we're going to draw the, the head above the eye. Angle above the eye, stay close, but not too close, like this. Angle above the eye, then turn and go this direction, about so far down. Now his eye has a, a shadow going on in here, and I can see it on both sides. But before we start this, the shadow, let's get the other side in. Just sort of angle like this and stop like that. Okay, he has a hand here, and I want to draw that hand. And to show that it's furry, I'm going to draw it with lines, but you're going to take your pencil, and you're just going to do this. You're going to go way down here. I hope you can see this. You're going to draw a line that comes up like this, okay? And then I'm going to show you how I would do it. I would start like this, following that line. And then once I got up to the hand, I would start to come up and make it look furry, with little lines like this. Bring this line down to touch. Remember I told you about the shadow line? Well, let's go to the corner of the eye and draw a line like this. Go to the other corner and draw a line like this. This one is going to angle. And then once you get to this point here, you're going to start to turn because you're making an elbow. And again, it's shaggy here, so you might want to draw with a line. I'm just going to come in like this, but you're going to have that pencil line going up to here. But so you can see it's shaggy. And this is what you would do with your ink later on. I'm just going to go ahead and draw these parallel lines like this. Okay, he is shaggy here too. So I'm going to go over. So you can kind of see my line here. So I'm going to have to go over that and make it a little darker. Very good. Okay, and then right here is his, is his shoulder. And I'm going to bring some of this dark shagginess. I'm going to put some lines in here. This is all going to be very dark. It's in the shadow, so you'll either cross hatch, parallel lines, or just kind of shade it in. As it goes up towards the mouth, there's not as many um, cross hatching lines. It's not as dark, so I'm just going to put a few like this. And 
a little bit of lines kind of like this to show that it's all connected and it's all kind of furry. There we go. So I made this a little darker. Good job so far. Now he is hanging on to some a, 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 a vine, I think it is. I'm not real sure. But again, with your pencil, you're going to draw this line and I'm just going to make it a, a dark shag. And we're just going to come this direction and then we're going to turn and stop about right there. Again, this is all shaggy, so you're just going to come back on top and make it look like he is a shaggy fellow with a lot of hair. Now I've changed directions by having the shag go up and in like this. All right, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna draw right here his foot. I'm going to come in, curve, turn up a little bit, come back in, and just go like this. He's hanging on to that vine or that pole or maybe it's a branch. I want to draw it in so I can come back and draw his long claw. He has amazing long claws. I was walking one time, taking a hike in the rainforest of Panama, and unfortunately I found a, a, a sloth that it was dead, and all that was left were his claws. It was kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm going to come back on here like this. Now, instead of continuing the pole, I'm going to come where the pole is right here, I'm going to draw one of the claws like this, a line like this. You see where I am? I'm going up above. I'm going to turn around like this, and then I'm going to follow it all the way back over and come back up. I'm going to do it again on top, curve up, follow what I just drew, go all the way and go back out and come up like this. We'll do it one more time curve up and then follow what we just drew and come back down. Now we can draw the pole. And so we're going to pretend it's coming up like this by actually drawing up to those those claws we just finished drawing. I'm going to pretend I'm going through his leg, get on the other side of the leg and come up. I want to do the same thing up here. Go up go up and then I'm going to take my pencil and go up one time. I'm going to wait here and I'll show you why. We're going to come over and we're going to draw some claws coming down, a line like this, curve up, go to the bottom, angle line up, curve up to the top of your page. If you have room, you can do another one. Now you can finish and put that pole there, the, the extended line. Here, we're just going to take our pencil and make a line that really curves. He's hanging on. And I'm just going to shade this part in so it looks a little on the dark side because that will be shadow. His arm is going to come right here, angle away. Here's his elbow. Turn and stop. We're going to come over here, but I want to get this part first done. So come on top of the claws that we made, curve up, come back, touch the other claw. Okay, we'll put some crosshatch here to show shadow. Remember, those are just lines on top of each other, up and down, back and forth, and you can angle to darken it to show you have a furry, and I have to make my fur dark to cover my, my Sharpie line here. You go over and just show the fur, something like that. Then we're gonna come in here where, where his claws are and make a curve this way and that. It's just part of his leg. And we'll do a few little cross hatches here and then in here, where the legs are separated from each other, I am going to do more cross-hatching and shading 
to show that that is really dark right there. And then I'm going to show his chest separating like this. And I'm going to draw lines that curve this way. He's a very hairy fellow. He has a lot of hair. Just like that, going down into my crosshatch. And then here, again, I will draw the hairy lines. And I think because I've done it that dark here, I want to darken this one up too to kind of balance it. Balance it out like this. Just draw. So, we've got a sloth. It looks like he looks pretty good to me. I'm going to put some hair here, maybe a little hair to on his head. I think he looks good. Um, I am going to take a line here and from here to here to show that this back leg is connected to the animal from right here. And here I'm just going to darken and bring out the shadows a little bit and some hair, make it darker than the upper leg so that you can see the difference. There we have it. We have a sloth. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can always visit me on Instagram at Heidi's Art Studio. Until next time, keep drawing.